Well, good afternoon from the bee yard. Uh, today I'm going to go over the basics of a Langstroth hive. Um, there are some options when you're uh, looking at Langstroth hives. Uh, a lot of these things that I'll talk about are just kind of personal preference. Uh, for example, you know, my choice of hive bodies, I choose to use 10 frame deeps. Um, there are other options available. Uh, some people will use uh, medium, some people use 10 frame, some people use 8 frame. Uh, but my preference um, is is uh, 10 frame 10 frame deeps, and I, I use two 10 frame deeps for my hive bodies, and then I use medium uh, honey supers. Uh, the other thing um, that I'll mention is that you know when I when I buy my woodenware, I tend to buy all of the woodenware that I'll need for a for a complete hive, so that I have it on hand and available, um, you know, when I need it. Um, for example. If uh, you know spring is here, we've got you know honey super on. The honey super is filling up fast. You know I need to add another add another super. I want to have that super right here on hand so I can so I can add it to the hive and give the bees the space that they need. You know to pack away that extra honey. So uh, my favorite bumper sticker out here, you know, uh, is the uh, you know, give bees a chance bumper sticker. This is from uh, folks at. Uh, northernsun.com uh, like I like to see these when I'm out and about on the road people that understand and support bees and how important they are to us uh, so first thing I'll show you is uh, this is just your top cover it's a telescoping cover they call it uh, sits right on top of your sits on top of your um, on top of your hive you know protects protects your, your bees from the from the elements and it's just a standard top cover uh, normally you would have uh, your inner cover you'd sit on top of uh, this part of the hive and your inner cover is basically just a, a thin board with an oval uh, hole cut out in the the standard uh, the standard inner covers that I use uh, this is a medium honey super now in my honey supers I choose to use uh, this metal spacing system there's these metal spacers that are in here and that basically takes what would be a 10 frame medium and turns it into a nine frame uh, nine frame medium box and the nine frames gives your bees a little bit more room to draw out that honeycomb and that in turn makes it easier during honey extraction for you to uncap for you to uncap that honey uh, before you put it in it before you you go to extract it um, in my honey supers I choose to use plastic uh, foundation. This is a, a wax coated plastic foundation. Uh, in my supers, I choose to use that because uh, during honey extraction, if you're using a beeswax foundation, it can have a tendency to blow out uh, and you know blow holes in it and kind of ru ruin your foundation when you extract the honey. This plastic stuff is tough and can be used over and over again. So that's just a, a, a standard, you know, medium medium honey super configuration there um, like I said I like to I like to buy all my equipment at once for for any given hive this is just another identical medium uh, super uh, and then uh, these are my hive bodies now I've, I've put a piece of uh, beeswax foundation in here just so I could show you what uh, what the beeswax what the wax foundation looks like compared to the plastic you know this is a lot more flexible it you know it's gonna it's gonna break off it's you know it's nowhere near as rigid as the plastic that's why it'll have a tendency to blow out um, you know during honey during extraction but this is you know just a piece of wax found wax foundation the bees will build their their comb off of that um, you know and this obviously hasn't windy day here obviously hasn't been installed but typically this would be installed in one of these frames all these frames are empty as I mentioned you know this is new equipment um, I'll cover you know foundation installation in another video but this basically just goes in goes in the foundation the foundation goes in the frame like this and then they go they go back into the back into the hive body so this is standard you know standard 10 frames you know 10 frames standard hive body um, the other thing that I wanted to mention was that you know in, with this beeswax foundation you'll see the edge of this is all ragged it's a little, you know, it's kind of ragged. This was on the top of the stack. It's no big deal. The bee, the bees are gonna, they're gonna 
make holes in this they're gonna move it around they're gonna they're gonna do what they want with it anyway so a little bit of a little bit of breakage or you know holes not not a big deal for the bees so this is a you know, deep hive body and then uh, this is kind of blocking the, blocking the view there but then we've got you know this is the last the last hive body um, and this is basically the same thing as the other hive body that I showed you you know it's 10 frames everything goes in here there's a nice groove in here that everything sits on it's a deep hive body and then uh, you know screen screen bottom board uh, this is a standard you know basic screen bottom board um, you know, this is where your bees are going to come and go out of the out of the entrance this bottom board's got a slide out you know slide out tray uh, this tray is used for doing your mite counts. Um, you know, when you're trying to assess the health of your colony or your, your hive, you're going to want to check for varroa mites and treat, you know, accordingly based on based on your mite counts. Um, in the summer, I run, you know, with these out, more ventilation in the hive. Um, I usually just, I put these in when I'm doing mite counts and, and pull, them, pull, them out when I'm, pull them out when I'm done. Uh, the only other uh, piece of uh, piece of equipment that I wanted to show you was, you know, it's a standard entrance reducer. And you know, if you have that here in your entrance, you've got you know this small opening. If you rotate it this way, you've got a larger opening. And if you take it out, then you've got you know the entire opening. And you'll you'll change that the size of that entrance based on the size and strength of your colony. If, you, if you've got a new colony that, or a new package that you're installing or it's a new hive, you're gonna want a small entrance so the bees don't have to defend a large, you know, a large opening. Uh, if they get a little stronger, you know, you can move it on, move it on over to the, to the larger, uh, the larger size opening. And then when you got a flourishing colony that's doing really well, take it out all together and they've got the entire entrance to come and go. An assembly is just uh, you know the reverse the reverse order of what uh, what I what I just did uh, take taking it apart putting it back together is basically the reverse just I would I I put uh, my hives on uh, cinder blocks you know or th there are some uh, hive stands that you can that you can purchase and you can put your hives on hive stands if you're if you're interested in doing that um, you know it's just from my perspective it, it's a it's an additional cost that that's not that's not necessary for me and and I don't need it to uh, to achieve what I'm trying to achieve but you know some people like them uh, but that's basically it that's a standard Langstroth hive configuration all the components of a hive um, and uh, you know in future videos I'll, I'll get into a little bit more detail of what goes on inside of there Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, do me a favor and uh, you know subscribe, and uh, I'll keep you posted as things develop in my bee yard. Thanks for watching.